Welcome back team to day three. We have a 15 minute fun workout. We don't have a lot of time together. All you're gonna need for today's workout is a good attitude, a smile on your face, a pair of light, medium, and heavy dumbbells. Also, before I get started, I wanna, before I forget, how could I forget? We're gonna welcome Rachel. Rachel's gonna be taking you through this workout and I will be doing what I do best, which is basically count. Uh, I'm a glorified counter. Uh, I'm a coach, I will coach you, okay? So listen to my cues. Oftentimes the cues that I give Rachel will also inspire you to modify or adjust your body so that you're performing, at, uh, performing properly. Uh, so we got really short workout, let's have some fun, let's break a little sweat. Team, let's go into our little warm up. We have three moves today. We're gonna get into those lunges in three, two, one. This is nice and easy. Right, just to wake up the body. This warm up is just meant to get everything lit up. Now I know that I said to grab your light, medium, and heavy weights. I realize now that we actually have no weights in this workout. All right, this workout does not require any weights. So this is a complete weight free, body weight only workout. You're gonna love it, I promise. We got about five more seconds, team. Keep it going. Three, two, and one, good job, right? Now Rachel's gonna go into that wide stance, sumo stance, right there, turn the toes out, hands at the side of your head, she's gonna drop it into a low position, and she's gonna perform a oblique crunch. Twist to the right, and then bring that elbow to the other side, beautiful, just like that. Team, we're going for 30 seconds, let's go. Connect with your breath, remember to reset, pause in the middle, and then tilt to one direction. Reset in the middle, if your hips get tight, like Rachel just shimmied it out, Go ahead and stand up and shake it out. Again, this is just a warm up, so I'm not gonna hold you to a high standard other than just make sure that you're checking in with yourself. Make sure you're listening to your body. We got about 10 more seconds. Looking good. Team, we got 15 minutes together. That's it, you're gonna be over before you know it. Three, two, one. All right, let's get down into our plank position. We're gonna do a little up dog down dog transition we got about 30 seconds here so Rachel's gonna go into that up dog sorry that down dog you had it you ignore me down dog and then transition into that up dog there we go go on to your the tops of your feet make sure to untuck your toes then come back into that flex position and then go up into that pike or that down dog ignore me it's been a long day let's go 30 seconds I promise I can speak I promise English is my first language and even if it wasn't, that's okay. But I promise it is. I just, I'm, sometimes I'm just not able to speak. You ever have those days where you wake up and you're just like, I'm not going to speak English today despite my best efforts. We got 10 seconds team, but I promise I can count because it's not up to me, it's up to the clock. So really can't go wrong there. Three, two, and time team. Stand up, shake it out. We're gonna get into our first block of work. This is three minutes of work. Again, this is all body weight. First one up, we're gonna go into some squats with an oblique crunch. So Rachel's gonna get into those hands at the side of her head. She's gonna give me a squat. Stand up, crunch, beautiful. Crunch to the opposite side. So you're giving me a squat in between every single oblique crunch. Team, let's get started. Rachel's warmed up. She's ready to rock and roll. Throw it back into the side. Let's go. We got about 30 seconds here. We're going at a nice steady tempo. I want you to push yourself. Remember, we got 15 minutes together. I don't want you to take it slow, but I also don't want you to go, uh, I don't want you to be recklessly fast, but I want you to challenge yourself and move with a little bit of purpose, right? We're going through each one of these rounds. Sorry, this round we're going through twice. 10 more seconds, looking good, Rachel. 30 seconds only of work. We got three moves here. This is move number one. What's Danny got next? Don't worry, you'll find out in three, two, one. Let's go down to the ground. We're gonna go into a plank walk. So Rachel's gonna go down to the ground, start off in a high plank position, then she's gonna drop one elbow at a time, come back up one hand at a time, and that's it right there. That's the plank walk, baby. Let's get to it. 30 seconds up and down. You came to work. I hope you didn't come here to just for my charming personality or my amazing dad humor. You know, I, everyone always, always makes fun of me. My, not everyone, everyone in my home, which is basically my wife and three kids makes, ma makes fun of me all the time because I have a horrible sense of humor. Three, two, and one. Good job, right? Let's stay in that plank position because we're gonna go into alternating knee tucks. 30 seconds here. Bring one knee up at a time. One and two. There we go, beautiful, just like that. Let's go team. 
So this is basically a slowed down mountain climber. The reason I'm slowing it down is because I'm not, this is not meant to be a cardio move. This is meant to challenge your shoulders, your core, your legs. 15 seconds, let's go. You're doing great. I'm so proud of every single one of you for showing up today, right? For taking 15 minutes out of your day to focus on the big Y-O-U, you. Three, two, one. Team, back up, shake out those shoulders, roll them out. Back into that squat and oblique crunch. So hands on the side of your head. Team, let's drop it down into that squat in three, two, one, let's go. You're probably wondering like, damn, Danny, you don't want to stop for a minute? No. We only got 15 minutes together. Why would I stop? Why would I slow down? Why would you slow down? You came to work, so let's work. Let's get it done. 15 seconds, you're doing great. Nice, Rachel, good job. Squeeze, make sure to connect with each and every move that you do today. Three, two, and one nice work team all right let's go into that plank walk down to the ground on your forearms sorry start on your hands and then drop to your forearms let's go in three two one hit it there we go that's it right there strong core rachel's pulling her navel in towards her spine to really engage her core keep everything nice and tight but at the same time keep it light right don't stress so much that everything's like you know, over, over stressed. We want to just stress enough. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go into those knee tucks back into that plank position. Let's go. You know, oftentimes stress gets a really bad rap and stress is actually not that bad. Stress is not a bad thing. 15 seconds. Stress is actually what helps us to grow, right? Every time we work out, we deliberately put our bodies under some stress. And that's what makes us resilient. Five, four, three, two, and time. Beautiful work. Rachel, shake it out. Team, we're done with block one. We're moving right into block two. This is an EMOM. This is a six minute EMOM, meaning for the next six minutes, every minute on the minute, you are going to be working. We have two moves here. Rachel's going to demonstrate the two moves so that you know what's coming up ahead. But every minute we are alternating. So for one minute, you are going to perform eight burpees. So one, all the way back up, and just stand. So remember, no jump on these. And also, you actually don't need to go all the way down to the ground. We're going to go out into that high plank and then come back up and stand. That's one right there, okay? If you need to modify it, you can walk it out one leg at a time and then stand up. That's it, okay? So you're performing eight of those. Your rest is determined by how fast you move through that. If you complete that in 30 seconds, you have the remainder of that minute to recover, all right? Now, move number two, we're gonna go into 10 oblique hip dips on each side. So, Rachel's gonna drop down to her right side. We're gonna get into a side plank, and we're gonna perform 10 hip dips. So she's gonna drop one, two, beautiful. You're gonna perform 10 on each side. Again, if you complete that in 20 seconds, then you have 40 seconds of recovery. I will cue you on the minute when to start. So just follow my cue, follow Rachel, we're gonna get going in five seconds with burpees. I want you to complete eight of them. Let's go in three, two, one, hit it. One, there we go. Everyone's moving at their own pace. So all you have to worry about is yourself. I will tell you when the time is up and when you must recover. Nice work, what number, Rachel? Seven. There we go, so Rachel's on seven. Once she finishes, she has the remainder of her time to recover, let her heart rate come down, get into that position ready for the side plank. Don't go too far. Team, we got about 30 seconds left. So wherever you're at, right, I want you to make sure that you're recovering. Do not jump ahead. The point of this is to practice a little bit of humility, patience. Use the recovery so that you're able to really push yourself hard when I say go. So team, in 10 seconds, we're going to go into those side plank hip dips in three, two, one, everyone, 10, set, 10 reps on each side. Nice work, Rachel. So you complete them at your own. Now you can always modify. Remember, you can give yourself that staggered stance. Rachel is doing the more advanced version, which is keeping those feet stacked. But you can go into that staggered stance where you put one foot in front of the other. But that's it right there. Beautiful 10 on each side. 
and how fast you perform these is what determines how much recovery you get. So make sure to challenge yourself. That's it. Good job. So Rachel finished almost exactly at the 30 second mark. So she has about 30 seconds to recover. But again, when I say go, then we're back into those burpees. This is basically three rounds of each move is what it breaks down to. So, two, sorry, 15 more seconds. And then we're going to go into those burpees. Remember, you got to complete eight of them. Eight of them for this next round. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go down to the ground, up. That's one, so everyone at your own pace, but as long as you complete eight, I don't care. You can use the entire minute to complete the eight, whatever is appropriate for you. Now, don't get it twisted. I, did, I, I do these workouts. I don't just program them. I make sure that I do them myself. So everything that you're doing, I've already put myself through several times, so I know exactly what you're feeling right now. Like, Danny, this sucks. Good work, Rachel. Nice job. All right, team. You got about 30 seconds, less than 30 seconds to recover. We got about 20 seconds now. We're going into our side plank hip dips. So make sure if you're done with your burpees that you're getting yourself set up for these. We're going to go in 10. Remember, staggered, feet stacked. You can even give yourself a little kickstand on that bottom leg. Let's go, team. In 3, 2, 1, hit it. So this is round two, basically of three rounds, right? So this is the end of round two, because after this, we have two more minutes left of work. We have one more minute of burpees, and then we have one more, one more minute of side plank hip dips. So EMOMs, every minute on the minute, exactly, you start every minute on the minute for a certain period of time. Today, I, I, I did, because we have a short workout, I decided six minutes was a good place to go all right team so drink some water don't drink too much because remember you got your burpees coming up got a little under 20 seconds left before we go into this last round of burpees and of course if you know me i gotta throw in a little surprise we're gonna have we're gonna do 10 burpees instead of eight so give me 10 on this last round because i know a lot of you are wondering like why 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 danny because i know you can do it let's go in three two and one hit it team all right, last round of burpee, burpees. Make sure to make this your best one. Push yourself. Let's do 10 because you can. Because how else will you ever find out what you're capable of doing if you never push yourself or explore that unknown? Nice team. All right, let's keep it going. We're almost there. We got about 30 seconds left. What number are you on, Rachel? Ten. Ten. She finished it. All right. Good job. All right, team. You still got a little bit of recovery if you finish your burpees. If not, keep pushing. Finish the burpees. Now we're going into that side plank hip dip. You are doing great, everyone. We get going in 10 seconds, and this is our last minute. I'm going to give everyone ample time to finish. Let's go, Rachel. Three, two, one, everyone. Side plank hip dip for this last minute. Give me 10 on each side, 10 on each side, yes. And then we're gonna go into our last little piece of this workout, and then you're done. Nice work, Rachel. Remember, everyone's moving at their own pace. There it is, almost there. What number are you on, Rachel? Nine. She did both sides in about 30 seconds. She was pretty consistent with her times. Wonder how you're performing. I know you're staying consistent. Make sure to keep pushing yourself. Let's go team, 20 seconds. I'm giving you the opportunity to fully finish here. Again, everyone's moving at their own pace, so I don't have any expectation other than I want you to finish. 10 more seconds team, and then you get a chance to recover. Let's go, you got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work team, all right. We have arrived. We have 90 seconds left of work. We are gonna go into a 90 second AMRAP, which is 90 seconds of as many reps as possible. You're probably wondering, what are we doing reps of? Well, I'm about to show you, or Rachel's gonna show you, we're about to get started. So we're gonna do full sit-ups. Now, there's a few things to note here. If you're working out at home, which I know a lot of you are, if sit-ups are not your strongest game, 
that's okay. You can anchor your feet in something using your sofa. Some people will use dumbbells to hold their feet down. Whatever it is you want to use, that's perfectly fine. As long as your form is proper, as long as you're, as long as you're not compromising your form, I'm okay with it. So 90 seconds, you're going to put your hands on the side of your head and you're going to sit up and perform as many sit-ups as you absolutely can. I'm not looking for a specific number. All I want you to do here is give me as many as you can so that when we revisit this workout or you do this in three weeks, you should be stronger. You should be able to get more out. All right. So again, push yourself, challenge yourself. I'm going to start the clock in five seconds in three, two, one. Let's go. Remember, if you're doing this and you're at home and you want to anchor your feet in something, you can absolutely do that. And I want you to keep count of how many reps you're doing. So you're responsible for keeping track of how many reps you did so that when you revisit this, we can go back to that number and see, okay, well, I did this many. Now I got to beat that number, right? We set, we set a goal. We set a bar. So this is setting the bar. So that when we do this again, you can beat it. One minute left. You're already 30 seconds in. Just keep count. Make sure to breathe out as you sit up. Focus on your form. It will get to a point where you start to feel it. And that probably already happens. Uh -huh. That's right. Rachel just gave me the uh-huh. 45 seconds left, team. That's it. 45 seconds left of work, and then we're done with today's workout. Nice job, Rachel. Good job. Make sure to breathe out as you sit up. 30 seconds, everyone. Keep it going. That's it. Down to the last 25. You're doing great, Rachel. Nice job. Let's keep it going. Almost there, team. Last 15. You got this. Keep it moving. Push yourself. Challenge yourself. Don't give up at the very end. We got 10 seconds. Keep going, Rachel. You got this. Five, four, three, two, and time. Great work. Rachel, how many you got? 27. She got 27. That is a great number. <laughs> how many did you get at home? How many were you able to complete? Again, there's no expectation other than I want to make sure that you challenge yourself. So whatever number you hit, make sure you write it down, keep it in your head so that when you perform this again, you can always revisit this workout and hopefully beat that number. Team, thank you so much. As always, hit the subscribe button. Rachel, thank you. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody.